The first qualifier match to the African Under-23 Championship comes to Egypt in an unfortunate time. El Zamalek's deadly rights led to the Premier League suspension, so most players are not in their best shape. I hoped the players would have been in better shape, but we faced many challenges because of the league's suspension. But since the Premier League was suspended, we have been in intensive training camps for weeks. We held several friendly games to get players in shape. But the Pharaohs still have many challenges, particularly in their offence. The Olympic team depends on two young strikers, one of them is injured. Misfortune extends to information gathering on Kenya and organizing the match itself. We have no information on Kenya's team. All what we know is that they held a three weeks training camp with three or four matches played with local teams, nothing more. We don't know where the game will be held and we don't have an alternative stadium as a backup. Let's be hopeful wherever the security approves the game to be played and that's it. The match was originally to be held in Cairo Stadium, but the Interior Ministry has some security concerns. Other options could be the Gona Stadium on the Red Sea. Kenya is a strong team. We've met them before in the Under-21 Championship. We tied here at home but won 3-0 in Kenya. We are now seeking a win and hope to qualify. Many challenges lie ahead Egypt's first game with Kenya and public pressure is mounting. Qualification to the African Under-23 Championship and getting a ticket to Rio de Janeiro in 2016 has become a popular demand, particularly after the Pharaohs have been failing to qualify for all international titles for several years. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.